So I took this chain recip apart to see why it was pulling like rudder amps and shutting off. Uh, the piston valves are good. It's pumping up through here. Here's your intake or suction. Pretty cool little compressor. The problem was it had a leak and I guess it leaked out enough oil where this bearing seized up right here on the rotor. The motor is in good shape. Or as in good shape as you'd expect it from it shutting off on overload several times but this will not spin i'm gonna see if i can try to get this loose but this is the issue the bearing seized up Compressor still pumps. It's just this bearing down there was locked up due to a lack of oil. This is pretty cool. This goes on top of the motor windings and the suction gas comes through the around the top of the motor windings and down this tube into the head assembly right there for the compressor and it says train on it here's the discharge line it goes into the crankcase it comes out the bottom on this compressor right there. The valves are still good. Well, they sound good at least. There's a little piston. Crankcase pistons right there. And here's uh, the head discharge line pressure relief the hot gas goes through both of these and I guess if it gets too high it'll come out of here into the low side of the system and hopefully overheat the motor and shut it off here's the other Our ring. yeah by the way I couldn't get this freed up it's, it's on there maybe if I drop it a couple of times so plate. Huh. This must be some type of let me see. Yeah, your suction comes through here. I guess this is the suction valve. Gas interest through the side. I guess when the piston draws in, actually I think this is the valve right here. I'll open up and let gas in. And then right underneath this plate would be your discharge valve. I don't know if you can kind of see it. I can probably see it better than you. Here's your suction valve plate or valve, whatever. I'm not sure if this is a part of it. And that's your piston. Slides 
got a little piston ring. Pretty different design than I opened up a Tecumseh and it was a little bit different. A lot different actually. This is pretty cool though. Here's a suction valve. Goes right here. Whenever the piston draws down, I'll open it up and refrigerant gas goes through these holes on the side and they come out through here. And then when the piston goes up, it pushes this valve closed. And when it compresses, it opens up this valve plate. Oh, let's see. Right there. And the discharge gas goes through there. So here's your intake and discharges right up there. I don't know what that is inside, but it looks like a little, another, maybe another valve plate. It's, uh, I guess a valve retainer. Here's a cylinder. There's the head. Discharge one. Piss and gas down. So. Here's the valve. 